Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moomoo Moo Outdoors. Today we are in my kitchen and I'm going to be sharing my favorite way to eat mackerel. So last couple of outings I was able to get some mackerel. This is a Pacific mackerel and uh, we got some Spanish mackerel as well. And I was also able to get some big halibut as well. So if you guys missed those two episodes, I will leave the link in down in the description. So check it out. So what I'm making today is braised mackerel. Uh, this is by far my favorite way to eat the mackerel. There are many different ways to cook it, but this is my favorite. So it's a pretty simple recipe. Uh, as you can see, you gotta have a mackerel. And you're gonna need a Korean radish, some green onions, yellow onion, some Korean green pepper. If you can't find Korean green pepper, jalapeno works as well. You got soy sauce, Korean red pepper flakes, maple syrup or sugar. I don't have a fresh ginger, so I'm gonna be using ginger powder. And last but not least, minced garlic. So we're going to prep the mackerel first. So first of all, I'm going to chop the head off. And I'm going to gut it. And I'm going to remove all the fins, anything that is sharp. I like using the scissor when I'm doing this. I'm going to cut the tail off. And I'm going to chop it up in about inch and a half pieces. With the Spanish mackerel, you're gonna have this very sharp lateral line towards the tail. So I'm gonna peel that off. Like so, chop them up. An inch and a half. By the way, this is about 2 pounds of mackerel, 2.2 pounds to be exact. Okay, I'm going to throw this out and I'm going to rinse this in cold water. I'm going to wash the cutting board and the knife as well. Okay, when you rinse the mackerel, you gotta make sure you get all the blood off of it. No blood line in the center and keep rinsing it until you get clear water. So now I'm gonna chop up some Korean radish. So the ratio is about same amount of the mackerel. Uh, mackerel was 2.2 pounds undressed. So I'm gonna go about 2.2 pounds with the radish as well. There we go, and I'm gonna chop it up about one inch thickness. By about one and a half inch. Like so. And I'm going to put these guys on the bottom of the pot. Like so. And I'm going to chop up 
about one whole onion. Break them apart. Okay, like that. And I'm going to put the macros on top. So I'm going to set this aside. Okay, we're going to make the sauce. So the first thing is going to be a minced garlic. We got one tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're going to put two teaspoons of garlic powder and a half a cup of soy sauce. And a quarter cup of Korean red chili pepper flakes. If you want it a little more spicy, you can put a little bit more. Obviously, a little bit less, less spicy. And two tablespoons of maple syrup or sugar. I like using maple syrup when I'm cooking. And we're going to mix this guy. the sauce on top like so and we're going to add one cup of water to the pot We're gonna bring this to a boil. So in the high heat, we're gonna bring this guy to a boil and we're gonna boil it for 20 minutes. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna chop up some green onion and Korean green pepper. Like I said, you can substitute with the jalapeno if you can find these. I'm gonna chop them up in about one inch long. Also green onions, about one inch in length. And we're gonna be adding these a little bit later on. So I said this before, uh, when it comes to eating fish, I'm really, really picky. I don't like fishy fish at all. Mackerels are a little fishy, I'm not gonna lie. But they have this distinct flavor to it, it makes it Actually, it's really good, uh, especially the braised mackerel. All right, it's been boiling for 20 minutes. Woo. So I'm gonna turn down the heat to low. From this point on, I'm gonna be simmering it for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna push everything to the one side and so I can get access to the broth. And I'm gonna pour the broth on top of the fish. Like so. so the fish can absorb all the flavors at the same time you don't break the fish apart so I'm going to repeat this process every 10 minutes and I'm going to be simmering this for 30 minutes and I'm going to be adding the green onion and the Korean green pepper on top all right, now that I've been simmering for 20 minutes now, I'm gonna take the lid off and I'm gonna simmer for another 10 minutes so I can evaporate some of the water, the broth. But at the end, I want some thicker broth than what it is right now. All right, it's all done. Turn up the heat. Turn up the fan. Mm 
There we go. So I got a piece of mackerel right here and a piece of radish. This is gonna be so good. I don't like to eat the skin, so I'm just gonna peel the skin off. Like so. And from here, you're basically just picking the meat off the bones. Like that. You're gonna put the juice on top. There we go. So, right there, mackerel. So good. Mmm. Mmm. The pepper. The pepper is still semi crunchy. That's why you don't want to put it in the beginning. You want to put it in when you start simmering. And the radish, radish became translucent, very soft. Mm, so refreshing, and tons of flavor to it. Very good, very good. A little spicy, very good. So if you guys catch some mackerel while fishing, I highly recommend this, it's so good. My the favorite way to eat the mackerel, and even if you have to buy it from the store, I definitely recommend this because this is so good. So much flavor, so refreshing, and spicy. Mm. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Mm -mm -mm.